Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Charlemagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. If you're just joining us, uh, we were having a conversation about Jonathan Majors. What happened, Lauren? So, uh, Jonathan Majors. Uh, th- I mean, there's a couple things that happened. Number one, he's in court. Uh, basically, he, the ex girlfriend that he is on trial for a- alleged domestic violence with, said that he used to do things like say to her. I need a woman that's going to be like Coretta Scott King Mm -hmm. and Michelle Obama. Basically trying to, she's white, Mm -hmm. very white. Trying, basically trying to like mentally like break her down and say she wasn't a good enough woman because she came home drunk from a party. Yeah. All right. So we're asking 800-585-1051. Fellas out there, if you're with a white woman, have you ever wanted your white woman to, I guess, be a black woman? I mean, clearly, 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 clearly Jonathan Majors wanted a black woman because that's, that's a wild request to make of your Caucasian significant other you know what I mean and then he's with a black woman now he's with Megan Good so clearly he wanted a black woman okay well well, let's go to the phone lines we have Jack on the line Jack whose real name is Jamal Jack good morning morning now you with the white woman Jack yep and you wanted her to be more like who Diana Ross see (laughs) why 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 well you know she know how to turn it on and turn it off when it's necessary that's what black women do. Why don't you just date a black woman? Oh. Well, you know. Hey, you know, you, you don't get all that out of people. You don't get all... See? <laughs> you, you, you just crazy. Look telling, at Laura's face! I'm telling see, you... you can, the, but, the picking and choosing, it, 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 it's, that's what's crazy for me. Yeah, you can't turn Shania Twain into Diana Ross, sir. Mm-hmm, it ain't happening. Baby. Craig Melvin did it. Craig Melvin did not do it. Don't you disrespect my good brother, Craig Melvin. Okay, salute to Craig Melvin, South Carolina all day. That's my partner, all right? I don't even know what the hell he means when he says Craig Melvin did it. What the hell you mean Craig Melvin did it? I don't know. Tony! <laughs> yes, sir. Now, Tony, uh, you're with the white woman, sir? Yes, sir. And you wanted your white woman to be as black as possible? The opposite. I need her to be as white as possible. Damn. My boy... My boy likes his girlfriend to be as black as possible, and it, they they just they do it so wrong, bro. They 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 just they, they get too ratchet. They be trying too hard. So, give us an uh, example. So your your like, your homeboy got his white girlfriend. With, 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 give us some examples of what you call. Bro, she just like she she like like baps almost. You know, like like she trying to Damn. be in baps or something. It's just. You, you know what it is. They man. do the like extreme of what they think a black woman should be. They go super, super get yeah, yeah, black because stereotypes. They don't know like gold but teeth exactly. and all of that. They that's don't know the seasoning. Yeah, they just see the outcome of what they right. think is outcome. And that, that's what I'm saying. I don't like that. So, like my OG said, I want my girl Lily White. Damn. So you, what do you yeah. call what do you call Lily White? Like uh, like a Karen. No, nah, no, nah, bro. Come on now. If she a Karen, we we can't we can't rock. But she she respect. You know what I'm saying? She she knows she knows like what it is that you know it, it's it's a difference between black and white. You know what I mean? She knows that, and like she she she's not gonna try to uh, overplay it. Or, or you know, she she knows the boundaries. She knows what it is like the struggle. Like she that knows I, she knows Miley Cyrus, but she ain't gonna start singing "Sexy Red" for no reason. <laughs> Correct. There Sexy you go, Red bro. That's okay. I understand what you're saying. Right. Yeah. What, what they, what hey, they... but Charlamagne, real quick. Oh. I, I gotta say this. Bro. I don't really talk to your I'm type for too Florida. long, King. Listen, I'm from Florida, bro. Yeah, but I don't really type. I, I don't really know. talk to your type for too I long. Doctor Umar I won't allow me to. You. Damn. <laughs> I, and, and I rock with Doctor Umar, bro. Okay. No, you listen. don't. Yes, sir. But listen, I do, hundred percent. But listen, uh, well, about about ninety percent. But anyway, <laughs> I know you said everybody is the, crazy is the people percentage from Florida, bro. Yes. Uh huh. But listen, so many people from New York move to Florida, bro. So it, that craziness, that's the Bronx trans coming to Florida, bro. That, that's what that is. I agree I with that, but I'm from South Carolina, so I can care either way. All right, 800-585-1051. We were having this conversation about Jonathan Majors. This is eye-opening because I felt that way when I heard this story, right? I'm like, damn, Jonathan clearly wanted to be with a black woman because he's with a black woman now. And they hear people calling up here who have white women saying they want their white women to be like 
black, black women, women is eye opening. Why don't y'all just be with sisters? I would like to say for the record that this is why, like, when black women have the conversation about interracial dating and they talk about how they don't like black men to date outside of the race, and then people get mad when we say that because they're like, we should be able to have preference. The reason why people feel this way is because of things like this. Because it's like, if that's the case, why not date a black woman? Like, why, why not just be with a black woman? Why pick out things that are wrong? Uh, from a black woman and be like, I don't want that, so I'm gonna try this, but try and make her to be like you. Like, it and, makes it. It has the 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 lesser than but, feeling. And to add on to that point, Lauren, the one guy said he don't date black women because they have an attitude. attitude. Oh, and did you see that? So, 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 so white women, some of these black men just think y'all submissive and don't have no backbone. So why y'all dating brothers? Mm. This is why everybody just need to be with their own. All right, we'll, we'll take some more calls when we come love, back. Don't be mad at me when I get smart to you when you say something like what he said. We'll take some calls when we come back. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Charlemagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. So if you're just joining us, we're talking about Jonathan Majors. Uh, he was in court. And in the court documents, his uh, white ex said that he... <laughs> <laughs> his white ex. That was so stupid, man. She is his white. His you white have to ex. Say that. not have to say that. You, you could have said his ex. You could have no. said his ex, and then after we explain what happened, then you say, and she happens to be called. No, his white ex. What's the difference? Said in the so deposition crazy. that. Why are you trying to say? He white asked women? her to be more like yeah, Karen Scott King. To save no white woman. He asked her to be more like Michelle Obama. Yes. And we're asking brothers out there, if you're dating white women, do you want your white woman to act more? I guess. Black, but you know what's crazy is mm-hmm. it's not that he just said like act black or like he went for like the two Michelle like, most Obama, prominent Scott King, yeah. black women ever. It's like what? So it's it's interesting because he, clearly he sees himself as Barack Obama and Martin Luther King Jr. So now you know why he dresses the way he dresses. <laughs> Y'all be talking about he dresses like a civil rights activist. <laughs> clearly he thinks he's a Yo, civil shut rights up, activist. Man. Hello, who's this? Hey, hey, it's BJ from Virginia Beach. Hey, what's up, brother? Oh, BJ. Nothing much, man. I just want to say I listen to y'all all the time, man. I've never called in my life, so I appreciate y'all uh, giving me the chance. Thank you, BJ. You got um, so a, you, I, you got I, a I, Nubian I, white queen on your arm? Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't even know what that means, but yes, I date a uh, white girl. Hang on, I'm going through this gate. Good morning. <laughs> he go, he said, I'm going to my gate. I'm, <laughs> she let him I'm home. home. I'm home. She you let you back it, in the house. Yeah, go ahead, brother. going to her house, yeah. <laughs> in that nice gated community. So, so, so here's my take. Thank you, sir. Here's my take on I've yeah, dated black recognition. girls, I've dated white girls, you know. So I, I think, that to answer our Lauren's question, um, I think the difference between what I found in my experience between black girls and white girls is, like, like first of all, like Lauren said, the season list, right? The, the rhythm list, that's true. You Let's like go ahead that? and get that out of the way. You know, my sister's got rhythm, we all know that. They, they be throwing down in the kitchen. But what most guys, I think, observe is how black women can be more expressive. And that's not a shot, right? They're just more expressive. And sometimes guys can't handle that. That's right. So I'm glad y'all know that. I'm glad y'all cannot handle the expressiveness of a black woman. Just say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, you know, but, oh, black girls got attitude and all this stuff. That's really not, it's not, I don't like that verbiage, first of all. I think they're just more expressive. And um, you sometimes have to give black women a little bit more TLC, you know what I'm saying, to, to get through that wall because women black women have got a lot of times the short end of the stick i don't want to you know make, hey, don't call make a up here on no panda bear stuff because you out here with your new being white queen because if you feel like that why you ain't with a black woman he feeling good today the security recognized him he got through <laughs> damn it man Y'all didn't hear that, him say thank you why, yeah why are you not with a black yeah, woman I mean, then because you don't you don't hit somebody that you like based on their color i would think that's kind of prejudiced and discriminative but but I hear you and? though. I I get why people don't like it. I get why yes. people don't like it. I thought it's fine. I'll take all the shots. But no, answer, I, that's my a, take a, on it. answer the question though. Do you think do you try to get your white woman to be like a black woman? Or you just want her to be herself? No, 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 absolutely not. I don't I don't date anybody unless I've known them for several years. And so we didn't even start dating until I knew her for about four years and, and what the, the flaws and all, man. It's all about the flaws and all, you know? Got you. So you don't want her to be anything except for who she is. Yeah, I mean, if she said, I need you to be more like, like, like a white man, then, then, I mean, I'd say the same thing. No, it's supposed to be me flaws and all. So, yeah, we, you can't do that. Okay. Would you still be with her if she said that to you? No. Okay. Got it. True. Well, all right, Ben. Ben, you're going to cut the grass. We'll talk to you later. Best of luck to you. Hello. 
cut his phone off. <laughs> what, what happened? <laughs> she cut his phone off. Hello, who's this? Yo, yo. What's up? Is Mike? What's up? It's Mike from Long Island, New York. What's up, man? What's up, Mike? Harvey? Mike. Mike. Me in the Peace, King. Mike, you have a white woman, brother? Yes, yes. I've had plenty of white women, and uh, I definitely understand where Jonathan Majors is coming from. Because, you know, sometimes these white girls be on some white people-ish. And I know what you guys... You, I know y'all know what I mean. Like, white people be doing some white people-ish sometimes, and it be turning, turning us off. I mean, it kind of goes both ways, but... I be missing my sister sometimes. So why not date one? Why instead of telling your white women to be more like black women, why not just date black women? Because it, like I said, it goes both ways. Cause like I said, white people be on some white people shit. Mm-hmm. Black people be on some black people shit, and they be on so oh I need my week done every week, and this this is that and the third. It turns us off also. Wait, so uh, we can't really. So because so because. Because you sis want to get her hair done, that's that's too black no, for you. That's not what I, no, 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 not at all. There's way more that comes into that, but I mean, I'm just giving one example. If you want seven hundred dollar weave, that head and handle that, baby. I'm not trying to do that every oh, week. Oh, so you don't? So it's hair texture for you. Mm. Sound like it's hair prices. Hair texture for me. <laughs> yeah, you got to get out of that. Oh my goodness. You Goodbye, got kids? Sir. You got a daughter? Ah, uh, no, I have a son. Okay. Yeah, ain't nobody. Is he biracial? No, actually, I had a son with a black woman. Okay, cool. I love my black women. As you should. So, and you should be with one. I just want y'all to learn to not love us bit by bit. Like, you, it got to be all of us or nothing. Because the hair texture conversation is a whole nother conversation. I don't even, we only got time today. Have a good but one, you sir. But teach, teach your son to not care about the edges so much. Damn. What's the, what's the moral of the story? There's a moral. <sighs> I guess the moral of the story is love is love. Like, I'm glad if you're happy. I say a lot of things about interracial relationships, but the reality is if you're happy, that's all that matters. But I don't think you're that happy if you want the person you're with to be more like somebody else. Let's, let's take one more caller. Hello, who's this? This is Ray J. Oh, we live! Oh, oh we live! We live? <laughs> Ray J, let me ask you a question. Do you want your white Yo. women to be more like black women? Damn it, man. Um... I'm trying to understand. Uh, We're having a conversation happening. this morning on the radio about, you know, Jonathan Majors. Jonathan Majors told his white, <laughs> his ex-white girlfriend that he wanted her to be more like Coretta Scott King and um, Michelle Obama. So it made me believe that he really wanted to be with a sister to begin with. So a lot of brothers have been calling up saying, yes, it is true. They want their white women to be more like black women. So for the white women that you be with, do you want them to be more like uh, black I'm, women? I, I mean, I'm married. Talk that That's talk, all I Ray wanted J. you to say, talk Ray. That talk. I don't know why it took you so long to get there. All we That's love. all I wanted oh, you yeah, to say, no, Ray. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, yeah, I didn't understand the question. I'm, I tried to understand He said, leave me out of this from the beginning. Right. You just you know, didn't pick it up Ray just, just called us half anniversary. I, see, I just happened to see Norwood on the phone, on the call ID, I was yeah. like, "Is that Ray J?" You know, you listen, yeah, no, that's my mom. I got my phone and my mama name. <laughs> I, I, I can see, I, I can see. <laughs> Salute our guy Ray J. You know, Ray J got all the special numbers to get through to us anytime. That's because right. Because Ray yeah, J not man. only was the first ever interview on the Breakfast Club, correct? He was our first really big viral, viral moment, moment on right. the Breakfast Club. They weren't the same moments. Man, they weren't love. the same moments either. Nope. Like the first, I tell people that all the time. The first person ever in studio with us was Ray J. Was Ray J. Yep. And then, that's crazy. Uh, then, then it was the big viral moment that we all know that that's culturally historic. That correct. That that Ray J did too. We love you, man, Ray. I'm 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 so proud of y'all, man. I just called to say, you know, congratulations. I'm I'm watching y'all evolve every day, and I'm proud of y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? I love y'all. When you coming back to kick it with us, man? I'm gonna do it a top top of the year. I'm trying to set that. I'm trying to I'm trying to open a year up with y'all. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You Ray, you gotta come. You know, you know, I got the crystals open in, in uh South Carolina. You gotta come back up here first quarter. Uh, yo, for yo, that's big. I might. You know what, Ray? We talk about it. I already talked to Billy. I'm gonna bring Ray J down to South Carolina. That's what we need. That's to do. dope. Let's go. For the grand open. Let's go. Yes, sir. Well, Ray, we appreciate yeah, you for calling and checking in, Ray. Anybody. Man, I love y'all, man. Y'all keep doing what y'all do, man. I'm I'm right here on the side. I'm watching everything that's happening. My brother, appreciate Thank you, brother. you, King. All right, love. All right, love, brother. Yeah, the rumor report is next. What are we talking about, rumors? We're going to talk about Taylor Swift. White women. We're going to talk about Taylor Swift. Uh, Taylor Swift is ranked. Uh, All these black women Taylor Swift is ranked. See, see this, the, Yo, this, you crazy. This the part. She said, she's what talking about Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift is ranked. But who's, what well, black woman is ranked like. before Taylor Swift? <laughs> 
Oh, you said ranked. No, she. Oh, you but Kamala Harris. Harris. I thought you said Taylor Swift is ranked. No, she's like, ranked she number five on um, Forbes Most Powerful Women in the World. Why you ain't start with the black woman? It's Taylor Swift's story. No, it's not. It's actually the Forbes Most Powerful Women list. There's plenty of black women on that list, but you just started with a white woman, the reason, and she ain't even number one. Wow. That's crazy. How you just start at five? Wow. Yo, Lauren, you something else, yo. Kamala Harris is put before some, her. You could have said Kamala. Put some pants on, yo. <laughs> 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 right? That's what you need to do. We get into do. it next. Yo, Roll the roses here. It's the Breakfast be, Club. I love the way y'all just be flipping. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.